you can tell me, so this is a huge project, <clears throat> the biggest in your life probably until now. Yes. So how did you handle it? I handled it well. <laughs> <laughs> you are happy. <laughs> <coughs> we have a couple of problems to solve till tomorrow, but it's uh, very exciting, very good. But we've when... Been, I've, we've been working on it for two and a half years now. But when they told you you are going to occupy uh, not Wall Street, but Le Grand Palais Ephemer. So you, wait, you said it's a lot, or what did you say? No, they kind of, they, they kind of offered it to me, and then they were saying, oh, maybe we should have uh, more different photographers in it. And I said, no, nah, no, I want to have it all on my own. Yeah, but uh, to occupy this super large space with your finally uh, tiny photos, how could you consider occupying this big space? I, I, I had no doubt that it's possible. I was, I, was, I, was, I was kind of confident about it. And so what, you, what was your plot about? Well, the, 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 first, the first main, you know, with the, with the kind of series of bodies of work, and, and the kind of new work I was, uh, I was thinking about producing because there were a lot of new bodies of work in there and a new video. Uh, the main, the main, 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 main problem to, to, to think of is, is what to do with the space because it's, it's like it's this huge open uh, shell. Mm. <clears throat> and uh, if you have, uh, you know the art art show and the, and the Paris photo. You know there's these tiny boxes of one. You know one t gallery next to another. You know I had to. You, you know definitely didn't want to do that. And uh, and I kind of thought of uh, how I do books or how I how how a, how a film is done or a symphony or or when you read a book, you kind of. Uh, turn the page and turn the page or you kind of go along go along and this is how i created these long walls and i kind of wanted to have a uh, i wanted to guide the viewer through my thinking and my what i what i place first and, and how i go along and you can't go you know you have to follow my my route you can't go this way you, you have to go that way and then along and then along and along and then certain certain works and certain projects arrive and, and it's uh, uh, very, very well constructed how I wanted to see it. And so what is the first photo of these stories that you are mm. telling the viewer? The first photograph is of me being a baby mm -hmm. uh, and it's taken by my father. And the second one is about your father, right? The second one is uh, <coughs> it's a quite a tragic photo photograph. It's a, it's a it's I rephotographed a newspaper article about the, my father's suicide, uh, and it was in 1988, and it was a very obviously very had had a big impact. And it was a uh, it, it's like a reference to Warhol disaster paintings, in fact. Maybe, maybe to you, but not to me. Of course. You know. So you want to show your own story. I am showing my own story. And just after, there, there is you naked on the tomb. And then there's a picture of my mother uh, in a crocodile's head. And it just shows the scurrility and the, and the absurdity and the frighteningness, frightness, the scariness of life. And also the parody of life, you know, and uh, and uh, and then a little bit further on, it's it's a black and white large photograph of my of of me on my father's grave. Yes, and why this photo? Uh, because I had to do this photograph. It, I felt uh, I I wanted to be closer to my father. Naked. Yeah, because that's how, how you, what you are. And, uh, and I wanted to be pure, and I wanted to, to show certain elements of, of having a cigarette and, and a beer, uh, which, which, I, which I do do. And, 
and uh, kind of uh, look at sparkles. Yes, it's beautiful, <laughs> huh? And it sparkles in the window. And uh, and 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 I, and I didn't have that football in common with my father at all. I was very close to my mother, who was very good at sport, and I was good at sport, and 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 we always watched football together. And and my father was not part of it at all. So I kind of wanted to put these two things together: something was relating to my mother, and something was uh, was relating to my to my father. And uh, and I always thought I hated my father, but uh, but it be became so sort of clear to me after many many years afterwards that it's that I, I was I was longing for him and that and I, and I felt sort of uh, a, a certain closeness to him, especially when he which which is uh, which I will explain in the in the in this new video piece I did with Alexander Skarsgård uh, called Man, uh, and the first photograph which he took, which is basically a photograph I would have taken of my child. And my children look like me in this photograph. And he did it so brutal and so, not brutal, but so direct and honest and and strong. It, 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 could, it could, have, could easily be my photograph. And, uh, and I discovered years, years later uh, what, what a kind of enthusiastic hobby photographer he was and how good he was. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I always uh, push that away. That's strange. Mm -hmm. And so your work is about this kind of parody and this relation to life. No, it's not a parody. It's not a parody. You did. It's, you it's said a, parody. In this one photograph. Yeah. But there's something grotesque sometimes. Yes, of course. Of, yeah, but life is like that. Life, life, life is. You know, I want to. I, I, I. I'm not interested in just showing one aspect of 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 something. You know, I want to show something beautiful. I want to show something. Uh, you know, something difficult in life. I want to show something. Something. F you know, things are funny. You know, things are not to be taken too seriously and some some things are very 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 heavy and seriously and and, and uh, there's an underlying heaviness within my work but it's but it's uh so so it's everything really but uh, i think that after seeing this uh, show that and i've seen a lot of your shows never so big of course but that you have the genius of mixing beauty and dirt in a way or dirt and and uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you mix you mix opposite and that create and something unbalanced which make it very attractive mm -hmm. so when you show for example Catherine Deneuve Catherine Deneuve is the incarnation of beauty in a way but she has she's dressed in just such a way or a, a beautiful model, but in the dirt, thing like that. There's always, almost always, these two aspects in your work. Mm. Yeah, I, mean, I guess otherwise it would be boring, <laughs> you know. And uh, and uh, that there's always something, something ugly in beautiness, and vice versa. But I think it's a good way to attract the eye, also. If it's only beautiful, it doesn't work in us. Uh, of course. You know, it's like, you know, I, I, I always think I, I, I come back to life, you know. Some, you have so many boring days, and then there's something extraordinary happen, and you're super super happy and sometimes you don't know why you're happy and then you're like melancholic and and things so i kind of combine everything together i i, I believe and, and I'm, I'm sort of i'm just sort of attracted to 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 real life and 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 i see something beautiful mm. and i put it together somehow and um the title of the show the title of the show came came to me after a while <clears throat> after working on it for, for, for like a year already, uh, 
that uh, well it has it has th three different points for me the, the 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 first point is 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 when somebody from your family or your father commits suicide you can go you know in this direction and 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 you could be very close to going in this direction or you 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 take responsibility for your life and 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 be positive and uh, and I'm just too curious about life you know what I want to achieve what I want to do and 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 my my plans and and uh, and and you know we are married now mm -hmm. and and uh, and we decided to have a baby and Iggy is 8 months old and and I have two other children and I want to live for them you know I want to I want to do things with them and and I want to live I want to live many years with my wife and 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 that's and, nice and, it's a good news good news for me <laughs> uh, so it's that you know it's like it's like life and death you know and and, and I need to live for for this you know I I, I want to live and what did change <clears throat> with Deauville Everything. Because you said, when I saw you last time, I interviewed you last time, you said, with Deauville, my life is a paradise. Woohoo! I'm glad you recorded it, Juliette. <laughs> yes, we you can show him now. <laughs> you can show him the video sometimes. <laughs> you said that in last century, remember? No, so how is it going now? Because you are kind of fusional. What's, what, what would be even better than paradise? <laughs> That's how I. That's how I. How I feel. I feel so good. She helps you. She what, helps what has changed? Make like if pretend she's not here. You can complain. Well, she makes me happy. She makes me content. Not she bad. she makes me content, and she but makes. But she's always make, here. She makes me a better person, and we do, and uh, she she makes me more positive. Less nervous. Uh, for no. the interview? No, with, with, in terms of picture taking, I'm always nervous, or, or, or certain things. But uh, but you know, we work together and and we live together and we're always together. And it's and and uh, it's a lot, no? Yeah, but it's beautiful. It's, it's I couldn't think of anything nicer. If, if you asked me before, I would have met Deville. I thought this is the most stupidest idea. You would go crazy. <laughs> You, first of all, you would get on each other's nerve, and and to drag the work home and constantly work together and live together, have a kid too together. It's like sounds like a nightmare, uh, but but it's as I said, it's paradise. Yeah, it's still paradise. Yes, better than paradise, whatever that is. It's a snow uh, snake. <laughs> no, but she helps me tremendously within within my everything what I want. In terms of work and and, and and privately and and we complement each other extremely well. But in terms of work, because I'm here for that, what is her intervention? Do, <coughs> do you think she change the content of your work, for example? <clears throat> Not really. In terms of, if you think about, if I would do something different now than I would have done before, mm -hmm. no, no, it's not. But uh, but we do things more. Every everything is more. I mean, first of all, she 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 helps me tremendously within my business, and with the, with the studio structure and everything like that. And because we are always together, everything is much more fluid and much more faster. And uh, and she she makes me. She she makes me a, a better me, and uh, she encourages me, and 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 I have more enthusiasm. As uh, so, does he change the content of the photos? Well, yes, because if you if you look at the second part of the exhibition, it's extremely joyful. And, and humorous and extremely meaningful, you know. And we and we and we work together. And we did this, uh, uh, which which I'm really proud of. The series called the the myth. Uh, and it's and it's and it's. It's about what? And it's and I believe it's my most romantic, 
project. The myth is basically a title which we chose is when you want when 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 somebody wants to get pregnant, uh, and the myth is you put your legs up in the air. Uh -huh. uh, and and the myth worked, and we basically <coughs> I did a I, uh, we did a, a Yves Saint Laurent advertising campaign I believe in 2018, and uh, and it was in the Grand, Grand Hotel Villa Zerbelloni in 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 uh, Lake Como in Bellagio. And I thought, oh my God, this hotel is so fantastic. And I've kind of fell in love with this whole scenery with the lake and the mountains and, and how beautiful the hotel is. And years later, in fact, last year, last summer, when we did wanted to get pregnant, when we decided to get pregnant, uh, we were also invited to go to a wedding. And we stayed in this hotel and I thought, oh my God. And I said, well, why don't you put your legs up? <laughs> and. Uh, and I took a photograph and I thought, oh my God, this is so beautiful. And we went to the hotel manager and asked uh, whether we could work and use every single hot room they have. And he said, uh, oh my God, do you know how many rooms we have? I said, 94. I said, oh great, I'll take them all. And the hotel was, uh, which is owned by four generations of, of a family and there's a lot of art in it and a lot of care and 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 he was very enthusiastic and and he helped us to produce it and it was an extremely wonderful experience so it was very and then the the uh, i i believe my my work becomes much more hopeful and then uh, there's the series of of our uh, uh, celebration of, uh, of 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 iggy uh, in sicily and so on and so on and uh, what do you think about luxury now what do you mean? The empires of luxury you are working for. How do you drive your inspiration? Well, it hasn't really changed. It's It, it still operates in the same same way as before and I'm certainly more detached from it than before. Ah, uh, really? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Like what? Because before I did my personal work, which was one thing, and, and I put all my energy into commercial work kind of thing and uh, and now I see, now 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 I find it in a, in a way I find it more relaxing no that's not the right word <laughs> I, uh, in 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 <laughs> because it's really difficult <laughs> but uh, but in 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 a way I, I I find it more I'm more at ease with it Mm. And 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 I'm and I'm kind of very content with the other work I'm doing, and I know the restraints of the of the commercial work now because it gets tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. <clears throat> it, it gets more. Uh, what's the word? Uh, 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 sorry. What's but the word? why why tighter? I mean, there, there's the, the 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 client demands more. There's 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 more. There's more. There's so much more content you have to do. Now mm. you have to do these stupid videos. You have to do this and that and the other. And it and it everything has to be more uh, approved. Everything has to be political correct. Yeah, yeah. And 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 and, and everything is more tighter in a way. You, you, but you, you know. feel comfortable inside of all <coughs> that. Yes, you because find you. Your way. I, f I find my way, and, uh, and I'm also not so bothered about it anymore because I, 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 I it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an honest way of, of, of making money. Yes, of course. Which so you, last time you, you told me I have two kind of production. Why one is personal, the other one is about luxury. It's still the same. 
How do you mean production? Production uh, of photos, just the word in general, like creating. I create photo for the luxury industry and I create photo for myself. Uh, yes. There are two kinds still now. Yes, but I, but I, but I, but I do them within the same convincing way I am me. Okay. And uh, before, when I when I knew I'm, I was going to interview you during the night, I thought about two words that I could ask you during my dreams. So it was by by chance or by accident about creating your photos, and I thought that was interesting. Do you create by chance or by accident? None of it. Okay. So how do you create? Because some photos seems to be like not at random but you find things by coincidence in a way <clears throat> no everything is, is is completely the other way around and it's and it's very you know the the there's a lot of thought goes into each photograph or in each project so you you have to it's not spontaneous it is spontaneous within the frame of everything but there's a, of course there's a lot of pre-production involved and uh, where do all these people come from you know these hollywood stars who hold a handbag blah 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 everything has to be you know the whole the whole the whole team around it it has to be it can't be just like oh where it all happens yeah you know there's a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of thinking of where to photograph what to photograph how to photograph and the snail who on to photograph. the food <clears throat> now we're switching subject. Yeah, okay. No, uh, but what? What? The idea of the snail and the fruit. No, it's it. You you prepared this idea. Yes, I had thought about it a lot. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it's basically when when Deville and me started going out together. She was living in New York, and I was living. I was in London. And she had to work in Paris, so I called her up and said, "What are you doing? You know, what, what are you doing this evening in Paris?" And she says, "I'm I'm in a I'm in a restaurant, <laughs> eating snails." Wow! And I was like, "Ooh!" I was like, "Paris, okay, good, that's cool. Uh, snails, ooh, it's not exactly my choice of uh, food, beverage. I wanted to say." <laughs> 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 And the garlic and thought, with it smells so strong, it's a nightmare. Luckily, she was far, you could not kiss her. <laughs> and then I thought about it, you know, thinking, oh, she is in, she is in, she is in Paris, eating snails. And, and I thought of her as, as, a, as a peach. Oh, wow. And I thought, oh, she's such a peach in Paris, eating snails. So I kind of thought, I want to do a story. I want to do some pictures with snails and peaches crawling on my legs as a, a love letter, a, a thing to do as to show her. And That's finally she eats the snails on your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Airy snails. <laughs> and so last question. Next, what is next? Uh, next is Christmas. And is Christmas important? I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, uh, I, I hate it, actually. Normally, I really don't like it. But now, <clears throat> you know, my, my, my other children are, uh, Lola is 20, 26 and, and, and Ed is 18. And, and we have now Iggy, who is who's eight months. And we're really fond of our parents. And uh, instead of flying to to Costa Rica or to Honolulu or, or whatever, you know, and, and, and this has been so extremely time consuming and tiring to put up this uh, this vast show <clears throat> that we actually want to go back to our parents. So we half half Christmas we go to, to Duville's parents in, in Lithuania, Lithuania mm -hmm. and New Year we go to my mom. And in I'm, Germany? In Germany. And I'm, 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 we're really look, super looking forward to it. To kind of like just be no normal <laughs> <laughs> but after that next for 
photos? Well, I'm so excited about this whole scenario here. <clears throat> I'm taking a lot of installation pictures and all over Paris is me. The, in the subway, there's lots of work of mine on these columns, what are they called? Ah. Columnaries. So I'm going to photograph everything and, 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 and do something about Paris. That's cool. Okay, I want to be part of it. Okay. <laughs> Merci beaucoup.